Greetings everyone, a warm welcome to you all from wherever you are viewing this around the world and hey, yay, happy new year, rolling into the 2019 vibes, getting rid of the old 2018. If you remember watching the December videos I talked about intention setting, well if you took the time to do that and put a little bit of effort into thinking how you want this year of 2019 to progress forward, you'll now be ready to put those into activation, those intentions. So January is an activation month. January is a really good time to do this because it's close to that changeover of the numbering pattern or the vibration frequency that comes from those changes. So we are going to be using three different decks of cards. This first one here is the John Holland Psychic Tarot deck and we are only using one from this. This is going to be a background energy card for you. So it kind of will be lasting for the whole year. It's setting the tone of things going on in the background for you for the year. Well, when I say it's setting the tone, it's not, of course. It's just giving you a picture of what is kind of going to be a background energy. You can choose to utilize it, like learn from it, imbue it, upgrade it. Um, kick it aside type thing, whatever comes your way or however you feel about the energy. And oh, I did forget to say at the very beginning, Libra, this is your reading. <laughs> so I'm going to um, shuffle the cards in a minute, but before we get started, I have a little mantra that I worked on for you as well before I started the video. So your mantra is the following, I am willing to release the need to be unworthy. I am now becoming all that I am destined to be. So that's a pretty powerful one for you guys and you can choose to use the mantra either for the January period or for right through the year and you know really focus on the positivity and the power within that. You received the number 12 which is similar to the vibration of the year 2019, it's the same number pattern. Uh, you also received green, the colour green. And of course green resonates with the heart and it resonates with healing. So some other words that came through were to let go, to accept and uh, understanding that you are a being of love and light actually. So with that in mind, let's see what cards are coming for you guys. I'm going to, well, one card from this deck as I explained. I'm going to start shuffling. Then because your number is the number 12, I'm going to take from the 12th card down. So this is for Libra. For January 2019. Just getting some intention into the cards for you. I think there's one more shuffle yet. And then the twelfth one down. Okay. The anticipation of it. Actually, it's quite a nice one. It's not a major arcana. It is the Three of Pentacles, and it says recognition and reward. So even though it isn't a major arcana, it is still a very positive card, and it gives off a lot of um, energy and kind of movement into the future with this card. So I can either focus on the words, which I don't think we really need to. We're seeing that now, recognition and reward. Or I can focus a little bit more on the um, artwork in the background. So given that this is the Three of Pentacles in the traditional tarot, it's talking to you a little bit about finances. So maybe for the year, either your financial sector or your career sector could be a focus for you one way or another. So if you're not in the dynamic part of life where you're earning money or you're in a career, either pre-career or post, then your money could be on your mind either through ways of like investments or businesses or how you um, earn money 
you know to live off from a day-to-day -day basis so this could fundamentally be around you it could be something that you are pondering upon for the year or acting on or making changes around traditionally the card is he depicts it very well actually with that guy there slightly bowed on a podium accepting what would appear to be uh, some form of grateful recognition he has a um, like a medal around his neck so it's often times when you receive your diplomas or accreditation that's coming perhaps for some of you 2019 is a year that you are finishing a degree or uh, some form of formal study perhaps it's a year where you are merging into new projects and you will find that you will get recognition for them like you may be stepping up in terms of your career so you may be taking an extra step or an extra load and you will receive recognition for this and you will learn from it and you will become more acclaimed or more um, I don't want to say famous necessarily but you will become more useful in and around your area that you're doing this in some of you there could be fame involved in this because that card sort of has the whole feeling you know the spotlight is shining down on him he's almost as if he's on a stage bowing to applaud an accolade so for some of you Librans out there there might be something really big coming that creates fame or acclaim one way or another the other thing that this card can lead to is working in part, not partnerships, but into a f format or it's a triangle of three people. And this can sometimes be through a work paradigm. It can be teaming up with people to uh, get a project up and running and to take it to higher heights or to further it or expand it or to grow it. So sometimes this includes inventions as well. So some of you may be involved in a form of inventing or a team that are inventing something. And that could even be where the accolades are coming in or the kind of like acclaim or being made notoriety and even becoming a public figure. If it's not that, it can be that some of you are just at a slightly more, you know, standard level could be getting a pay rise or a promotion or even if your boss just comes to you and says, hey, you do your work well, we appreciate who you are in the office or the team or the working environment, so keep it coming. It's a great positive card, a great way to start the new year, and something for you all to focus on from a positive perspective around the terms of money for yourselves. It is one of the good financial money cards. So yeah, a great way to start. I think I will wind the camera back out a little bit and put these ones away and move into, oops, <laughs> see it even wanted to stay up in the corner. It jumped back out. There's something there for some of you. I will shuffle these cards and there are four from this Morgan Greer tarot deck. So this is for Libra. We will just be taking from the top of this deck. This is for January 2019. And I think that is that. The Knight of Swords, the Hermit, the Queen of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. So interesting, oh sorry, the Queen of Pentacles. So the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So your sword energy is coming out because of course Librans you are the sword you know that's your air sign energy that's the analytical thinking process it's the communication as well so these four cards could be roughly you know some people might go this is first second third fourth week of january i'm not assigning specific times to it like that but um if it feels as though it's flowing that way that's fine see how it comes i tend to think there's a little bit more free flow in the cards um, and they can be deciphered at any point of the month they could even be going on a little bit further than that but let's start with that knight of swords you can see he's quite angry and he's uh, there's a burning tower in the background and on his sword there appears to be some blood so it's almost like he's saying yes well you know take me on and you'll take the battle of life on 
he's angry and he wants to be heard, there's something that needs to be said and he's fired up. Often when he's around, you know, the knights are messengers very similar to their cousins, the pages, but they seem to be a little bit more uh, determined and the message seems a little closer than when the pages deliver it. So this can be involvement in a project or involvement in an issue. So if there's tempestuous energy around and there's either arguments or there's this desire to have to fight for your right or fight for something to be heard, which is a feeling here, it could be in and around your work career or it could be to do with legal documentations, so some sort of contract that needs signing and this could be for business partnerships or formations or it could be to do with finances and money or your job. Sometimes it's even, you know, just personal relationships or friends or something like that. But he is a little more fired up than that and he seems a bit more aggressive. I've also noted sometimes when the sword cards are out, they can refer to some sort of surgery. So there's a possible, and because he's got blood on his sword there, it does make me think of like a surgical procedure or event happening. Some of you may be in for a surgery in the month of January or towards the beginning of the new year, even as I say February type thing. It might be a planned surgery or it might be something, you know, where you have a cut or you need stitches or something along those lines. If we come to the next card, the Hermit, your only major arcana, I really love the Hermit because he's all about contemplation and retrospection, or introspection, sorry, retrospectively introspective. He listens to the cosmos, to the celestial realm. He listens to his higher self. He listens to his heart, and he just listens. So oftentimes we hear more when we're still. Because uh, you, you've got a bit of activity, you know, with this knight of swords in here firing everything up and running around, you know, like rah, 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 attack, attack, get my words out, get, get everything sorted. But then you've got this hermit quietness as if he retreats and goes within and says, hmm, maybe there's another way of dealing with this. Maybe we can handle it in a different manner. Maybe we can do this quietly and peacefully and, you know, from a distance. But the Hermit does talk to us about finding some form of higher awareness or connectedness to the ethos or the cosmos or the uh, celestial realm. Sometimes he comes in to visit us from, I don't necessarily want to say a religious perspective, but a sort of a spiritual connection to the greater perspective of religious ideology. So sometimes this is coming and going as well when the Hermit is around. He has gleaned a lot by spending time on his own and in quiet, contemplative, meditative states. So for some of you, you may find that this is a really good um, therapeutic way of dealing with life's stresses and life's rushing and, you know, hurry, hurry, hurry and quick, quick, quick and, you know, get this out there and grab this because this is so much what this Knight of Swords is doing. So it seems like you have you know, you're like on a seesaw for the month. You've got started off with this great accolade and acclaim and um, proficiency and acceptance and acknowledgement up there. And then you feel like there's some sort of aggravation or, you know, push or determination continuing that. And then you go back into this quiet mode, perhaps um, re re-energizing yourself in your own peaceful, quiet way. We come to the Queen of Pentacles, and again, she's another really positive monetary sign. Um, she sometimes does indicate a person like this in your life, so sort of in, an earth sign person who could be around you like an accountant or a lawyer or a mentor or a tutor or a bank manager or someone who is dealing with finances that may be associated with yourself as well. She is rather opulent, she's beautiful, she generally bodes quite well around your financial sector as if to say it is feeling buoyant or beautiful or harmonious. 
I noticed the oak leaves around her are the autumn time so sometimes this could suggest the ending of a project or an era and of course we noted that with this three up here it is often suggestive of the fact that you have come to uh, finalize or you know gain your qualifications or you've come to the end of a project and it's been awarded something or well, she's not dissimilar in that whole feeling as well she feels as though she already has a lot of what it is she wants and she's on the right track so I just think there's relatively good positivity around your financial feeling in January and if it's not if you guys feel like it's not there it's perhaps coming the groundwork is being done for it uh, and there's definitely the feeling that maybe more than one person is involved so maybe you have help or support or teammates who are involved in this one way or another. When we get to the fourth card, the Ten of Swords, it isn't a favourite of mine and um, we will address the, the different perspectives of it. So it feels very deflative, it feels as though you have been in a bit of a battle and someone has stabbed you in the back. And it kind of carries on a little bit of this resurgent energy over here where he's coming into battle, he's all charging and, you know, all guns blazing and you know, lots of communication and words and can be argumentative. And then you end up sometimes in a position like this. So the, this can indicate that sometimes there is someone around you who has made you feel sad that there's a loss that you just can't figure out why it's happened or how or when it came about it can be friends that disappear it can be family members it can be yeah sudden unexpected but the tens always tell us that this is the beginning of a new cycle so it's the end of an old and the beginning of a new and that they have to happen for us to grow and evolve and continue our path on. Now if someone has treated you in that manner, then they weren't really worth having. Unfortunately, you may have thought they were, but for whatever reason they chose to behave in that manner, it doesn't mean that you can't get up again and carry on in a new direction and end up in a wonderfully happy place with new friends around you or a new partner or new love or whatever else. So it's important to fundamentally view cards like that from the positive perspective and not look at the gloom that it could be contained within. Now I also think with the Ten of Swords that there can be a reference that there is again this like pain in the back or the shoulders down the uh, neck so some of you might need back therapy or massage or like a spiritual healing of sorts if you go to Reiki healing or uh, light healing some of you might need a, a small operation as I say it could be booked in already it might be to relieve pressure on a nerve or something along those lines um, the other thing that the 10 can this 10 can symbolize is the beginning of the passing of an older person so sometimes it's finding out that someone a relative usually or someone close to you or maybe a friend an older person usually is in a terminal stage of an illness and sometimes the passing can be quite quick so yeah a little bit of um roller coaster as I said before it feels like you're on a bit of a seesaw so you've got some really great highs coming in for January and at the same time you're dealing with some other bits and pieces that may take its toll on you whereby I think the hermit is a really good message to uh, re-energize yourself with some quiet beautiful one-on-one -on -one meditative energies re-nurture you know re-empower uh, re-bolster up body mind and soul so we'll put these ones away and we will look at your final card which is one of these from the Daily Angel deck. I'll shuffle them for Libra for your intent and um, because of that number 12 I will take from the 12th one down again. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
child. It's funny to get the message of the child after what we were just talking about with the Ten of um, Swords, talking about the endings of a life, you know, like an older life, and then we get the child coming in. Now here's something that's quite interesting, and it's I've noted it myself, and I'm sure a lot of other people do, but often when there's the passing of an older person in our lives, within a family in particular, there will be a new baby turn up, like it'll be a niece or a nephew or a great-great-grand-cousin or something along those lines. But often when one life is passing on into the spirit world, a new one comes in. So for some of you, this could be a message about a new child coming into your life one way or another. For some of you, this could be the literal um, message to say that if you are wanting a pregnancy, some of you might find yourself pregnant in this earlier part of the beginning of the new year. So that might be something to look forward to. The message on the card does talk about um, working with children as well. So I'll read the words out to you. You care deeply about children and they readily respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. So for whoever of you out there are working with children, it is a an extremely special gift. They are our future. They are the ones who rely on us to give them the love and the nurture and the support and the teachings of life. You know, without good role models, whether you're a parent or not, or whether you're a mentor to a child or a facilitator or a um, mental health service worker or a person who um, teaches them like a teacher or a, a you know, a primary kindergarten type teacher, you're invaluable in so many ways because all the children on the planet need as much love, protection, guidance and help that they can get. So from the celestial realm, it's kind of like a beautiful message to say thank you for your service because that is a role of service. It's service and love. And also at the same time it is asking you to look at your inner child and not forget how to be like the inner child in us. And that means to laugh and to enjoy and to have innocence and freedom and happiness and exploration around ourselves and our daily journeys. So it's a wonderful card to finish with. It has so many different perspectives and each and every one of you will probably feel this at a different level. But whatever it's um, melding most with you guys, just feel into it and enjoy the love that comes from knowing and acting and being around children and addressing our own inner child. So thanks very much Librans. I wish you all a wonderful Happy New Year. Thank you for subbing and liking the channel. I love it when you leave your comments and I answer them when I can. Um, check your moon and rising signs. I'm sure you'll find some interesting messages there as well. So again, thank you all. Much love. Namaste.